Hi guys and welcome along to Sonic Academy's Tech Tips with me Chris Neely. In this one we're going to take a look at some of uh, Logic's uh, automation features and some tips on, uh, two tips in particular with them. Uh, we're going to embed uh, the automation into a region rather than the track. So let's write some automation in. So let's go to single band high cut, uh, just a very simple automation tool. Let's switch automation on by clicking up here or hitting A and select high cut. Turn it all the way up. Now if I hit loop L you can see that the automation doesn't doesn't continue. It is tracked based automation so it's, it's based on the track rather than the region. Uh, but to do this, if we hit the header and hit uh, Alt and click or right click on the header, we get automation. We get all these contextual menus and here we have automation and we want to move that track data into the region. So move current track data to region. Now you will notice that the automation changed and if we control Z that you can see that this is just sitting outside the region. So let's bring it in a bit. Let's right click automation, move current data, track data to region. Boom. And there it is guys. If we hit loop we now have the data written to the region. And we can edit the region and move things about draw in different nodes and and that updates. Now, the other thing I want to show you is uh, to do with uh, event list. If we select our command tool over here, which is marquee tool, we, we're snapping to, uh, to beats here, to divisions. So we're going to select the snare. If I click in the middle line, pull down, it instantly adds four nodes either side so we can get a nice sharp uh, on off the volume. So command again, let's select the snare, click in the middle, click and hold and pull down. And let's go back. Let's do a cycle. Now I can hear a little click where the automation probably just isn't kicking in as quickly as I would like. It maybe takes a you know few milliseconds for the, the volume. It's you know, it's almost like a slider going up and down. So let's go over to event list. And event list tends to deal with MIDI events and region events and stuff. Uh, but there is an automation event list. And if you hit Control Command E, it brings it up. Now, it did take me a while to get Control Command key. But if you go to Preferences, Key Commands. And if you type in automation event and search mine was blank so I had to insert these keys if you're using the US version of the keyboard I think it's there uh, but if you're in the UK and elsewhere uh, it's blank so you just program it in yourself you uh, and what we want to do is we want to park the playhead and you can see this is where our playheads parked so we want to pull that maybe to 220 and pull this a little earlier to 221 move the playhead over and you can see there's a, a white line here that lets you know where you are in the event again pull the playhead What have I done there? Let's park the playhead at that node. Pull this early. And now, let's make that jump. So let's have a listen. So you're, you're able to go into the event list and I mean we can turn So it's not going the whole way to zero. 
uh, and you can just fine tune then rather than trying to get these nodes and do that and get all muddled and oh no where we are so we can see that's only sitting at 10 if I do that bump. so between editing here and editing here you can really uh, fine tune your automation guys that's it for this tech tip uh, thanks for watching and hope to see you soon